Spring for me is always an exciting time. With the winter now a fading memory, we begin to notice a busy time in our surrounding natural world. And there is one spectacle I've wanted to see for quite a while. I'm heading off in the hope of capturing one of our most charismatic characters, the Mad March Hare. It's a bit of a trek, so I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that we get a glimpse of these lovely animals. Well, I couldn't ask for nicer views, and this is prime location for the brown hare. A real good defence tactic for the hare is to crouch down really low to the ground. So anything that's sort of looking across this field will see what looks like small tufts of earth or rocks. Crouch down about a hundred metres in front of me, the hare is snuggled into a furrow in the ground called a form. You can just make out its head and folded back ears. Now this looks promising. Four hares have just appeared at the bottom of the opposite field. They are soon joined by even more and the chase begins. Contrary to popular belief, it is by and large the female who initiates the boxing amongst the courting hares. And it is usually an unlucky male on the end of this pugilistic behaviour. Although the hares are pretty far away, I'm still happy that they are here and allow me to capture some great sequences. What a truly amazing animal. The sad thing is that the marvellous brown hair is becoming increasingly uncommon with an 80% decrease in the last 100 years. Intensifying agricultural needs have been a major factor, and I once read of 30 hares found dead in a field after succumbing to the pesticides that were sprayed over them as they huddled in the protection of their forms. There is also some hope for the brown hare, and since I've made this film I've read of new farming practices and societies like the Hare Preservation Trust trying to make a stand for these beautiful creatures. So hopefully the Mad March Hare will flourish and remain a springtime symbol of our glorious British countryside. Go! Let's go! <laughs> uh, I can't speak. <laughs>